Yeah, okay, well, it's, uh, well, I'm Bernard Chow, running for City Council District 23. Uh, I'm here uh, in support of the illegal migrant tent, uh, in support of not having the illegal migrant tent. Uh, it is just simply too ex expensive for New York City. It's going to be $383 each person, each night. This is directly from what Eric Adams told us. And then this is just simply too expensive for us. And again, it's very important that we need to understand that it's American first. We have a lot of people, we have our home, own homeless in New York City that we cannot take care of yet. And then we are trying to bring in more homeless. They just cancel, they just cut down. They just cut down the migrant state from 60 days to 30 days. What it means is that after 30 days, then the illegal, illegal immigrants will have to move out of the illegal migrant tent. And then they become, what will they become? They become homeless. They were floating around in our neighborhood. They were floating around in the whole New York City with nothing better to do. Right now, they are still not able to walk within, uh, within the first six months of coming into the United States. This is the law. This is the federal law. And that federal law is there to protect us American citizens because they want to protect American citizens' job from illegal migrants. So we got to respect that law also. And it's just whole city and the, all the elected officials who do not come out and speak up against that is not for the people. My city, a lot of city council members, they just say that I oppose this, I oppose that. Hey, do something. Do something about it. Look at Vicky Palladino. She actually come out and go against the migrant tents that's going into her district. Look at Joanne Ariola. She actually able to cancel the migrant tents that's putting into her district. Look at Steady Island. Yes, it's a little bit extreme, but then, hey, they got the job done. You choose. Every one of constituency. You choose whether this is what you want and how you want to react to it. Elections has consequences. You decide what you work for, you decide your pocket, how deep your pocket is going to be dig into. So again, my name is Bernard Chow, running for City Council District 23. Please support me, please work for me. Thank you. May I ask you a question? Yes. Okay. I want to ask you a question. Uh, have uh, mayor and our administration uh, uh, can prove that these guys, uh, they Harmless, because what I know, what he knows, most of these people have own houses, own apartments. Uh, some of them very rich in own country. Why these people uh, have to get free uh, services when they have enough money for support? Uh, uh, most of uh, some of them uh, richer than local uh, residents. Okay, I cannot. Uh, it's hard enough for someone to prove that they are homeless. Uh, you can be as anyone just who willing to to declare they're homeless or living in a homeless shelter, they can be homeless. But the more hard it is for someone to declare they are at least in asylum, for someone declaring they are uh, from a certain country, because they are coming to the United States without any paper. They are they just whatever they say, I'm from Ecuador, then they're from Ecuador. I'm from China, they're from China. Just whatever they say, because there's no proof. And there's no way of proving it. Yeah, all the governments saying that, yeah, we are checking it out. We're going over to their country to check on that. How long does it take? And while this time they're waiting to justify, to clarify, to verify what that person is and where that person is from, why do they have to using the hour, using our money for that? Why would be they living on us for that? They can go back to their country and wait and wait for the wait and wait for the approval, like all regular immigrants are, like I am. I wait. I get took nine years for me to get to to get my uh, legal status in the United States. Why can't they all do that? It is not fair to the people who's been waiting in line. All the people who's been waiting in line for your immigration status, all the family member, all the first generation immigrants. You need to look into how you vote. This is the result of what your previous voting is. And you need to change that. This is the year that's going to be crucial because this is the year that is going to make the change and there's a possibility that anything can happen only if you vote. Election have consequences. Election have consequences. And you need to remember that election have consequences.